let's do this. Hello! This is my first ever video from my house. It's really weird. Normally I'd be like running down a mountain with a camera in my hand or mountain boarding or paddle boarding. So it's really weird to just sit here. I noticed that normal YouTube, normal YouTubers, other YouTubers, don't know if they're normal or not, tend to have a space to do this. So like they'll have like a desk, a chair, maybe a white wall behind them, little plant pot with a cactus in it. I'm sat in the corner of my bedroom with a Nando's chicken above my head. What are you gonna do? I'm filming on the DJI Osmo Action today. Don't really know if that's the best choice because it does pick up a lot of the surrounding noise and I do have two housemates, one of whom is currently in. I'm also quite wary that my hands probably look massive because of the fisheye lens. So I'm just gonna see how it goes. So the purpose of the video today is to talk you through what I'm packing for the hike that I'm doing this week. So I'm doing a 100 kilometer hike around Snowdonia and I've pledged to do it completely single use plastic free. You might have seen the picture that I've just put on Instagram and Facebook. Oh my God, they are hard to take. So you know the ones where everyone like lines up the kit in like a nice square, but it turns out that's actually really hard to do to like get the stuff in the lines, make it all fit, get it to fit in the box, make it not wobbly when you're trying to like balance on something above it to try and take a picture. Anyway, I thought the video was gonna be the hard bit. The photo took me ages. So if you've seen that photo, that's all of the kit. Well, not quite all of the kit that I'm taking, but it's the majority of the kit. So I'm not gonna talk through every piece of kit in this video because that would just get really boring, but I'll probably do a list of it below um, in the comments section. But what I'm gonna talk through and focus on on this video is the things that I've had to do differently because I'm not taking any single use plastic. So the things that ordinarily, if I was gonna do a five day hike, I would probably be taking plastic for. So I've had to look for alternatives. So what I've tried to do as much as possible is to get things plastic free from source as opposed to buying things in plastic and then tipping them into non-plastic containers just for the purpose of the hike. I felt like that kind of defeated the object. I'm going to start off with food, um, specifically snacks. Snacks. Snacks kid. Probably might have seen that video, might not have. Anyway, sorry that was weird. Normally I'd be taking sweets in plastic packaging, um, fizzy fish, if you know, you know. Flapjack bars, um, fruit and nut bars, cheeses in packaging, cheeses? Che I don't think I take cheeses, I don't know why I said that. That makes it sound like I take a cheese board up a mountain. I don't take a cheese board up a mountain. Anyway, you get the point. So what I've got is these re reusable sandwich bags. These are literally amazing. By the way, I will tell you throughout this video whether I bought the thing or whether I was given it for free. And I bought these off Amazon. I think it was like a tenner. You get loads of them. So like the normal ones, they seal at the top, but they're a lot thicker than the normal ones and you can wash them out and use them like hundreds, probably thousands of times. The packet that I got came with different sizes. And what I've done is just got a generic pick and mix from the supermarket in a paper bag and tipped it into there. I've done the same thing with these savoury snacks. These are from what I call scoop shops. You have them in those towns where you can go in and there's like buckets and bucket containers, big containers. You know what I mean? Like a pick and mix shop, but for other stuff. And you can scoop and weigh the stuff and you don't have to have it in plastic bags. So that's like some savoury chickpeas and flavoured corn. And similarly, I've done the same, simile? Sim, similarly, I can't talk. Similarly, anyway, in the same way, I've done the same with some like chocolate raisins, chocolate ginger, which is amazing, uh, in that bag. I've also made some flapjacks, which are currently in the oven, so I can't show you those, but those are also gonna go in one of those bags. Usually for breakfast, I have one of those porridge pots when I'm camping, which does really annoy me every time I have them because you have like a whole pot of plastic for the sake of like this one bit of porridge. So what I've switched to is again, the Scoopy shop. I got muesli and because I'm not taking any milk, I'm gonna just mix it with hot water, put it in the thermos with hot water and some banana. And that's gonna be my breakfast every day. I got really excited in the Scoopy shop because I, they have loads of stuff. I got overexcited. I bought coconut granola in a tub. And then when I got home, I was like, coconut granola and water? That's not a thing. It really shocked me to know that most types of tea bags actually have plastic in the bag. Like part of the bag is plastic. So I found two brands that are plastic free. 
clippities are completely uh, 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 plastic free bags and the in bleach bags i also wanted some flavored tea tea pigs which you might have seen in the supermarket they're not the cheapest again i did buy these they say plastic free on the box so they are plastic free tea bags however they package them in a plastic packet inside the box and i think the only reason they do that is because there's a window on the front and they want you to see like how fancy they are i don't care i don't need to see how fancy they are i just want them to be plastic free just saying so coffee i've ended up going for the littles coffee which now is in 100 percent plastic free packaging which is amazing i actually thought there would be a plastic thingy inside there there's not and they've just put foil on the top so this is glass this is metal completely plastic free which is ace just fyi i did also buy this ground coffee because i was going to buy like this really lightweight filter thingy but it wasn't going to come in time but this uh purple i think that's how you say it this bag is completely plastic free as well in another one of these bags i've got hot chocolate powder that's just taken from a big tub which does have a plastic lid but it's my large cupboard tub and i've just decanted them into the so in terms of my meals, Firepot Food have actually been kind enough to support me with this challenge. They really like what it was all about. They've just brought out this new range of outdoor meals, which come in packaging, which is completely compostable. Compostable? Compost, that's a really weird word to say. Compo anyway, you can either put it in your compost bin. I didn't have a compost bin. What they also say that you can do is put it in your regular household waste it will still go to landfill, but it will break down within a year, as opposed to plastic, which we know takes a hell of a lot longer. They do like amazing meals. This one is spicy pork noodles. This one is beef stew with pearl barley. Literally better stuff than I can actually cook in my kitchen. The difference with cooking them is you don't pour the hot water into the bag and seal it like you do with the normal foil ones. You tip the stuff out of the bags and put them into a pot and just cook it like normal food with hot water on the stove. So I'm really, really pleased to have those on board. In terms of lunch, I started to think about what other things I could do if I didn't have those meals. And I've came up with a bit of an idea. So when I went to the scoop shop, I found whole grain couscous. I've put some of that couscous mixed in some curry powder and some other spices along with some dried shiitake shit shiitake mushroom what i'm going to try right now because i don't actually know if this would work so i'm going to try it out on camera i'm going to put some hot water in there i'm going to seal it up and then i'm going to leave it for a half an hour maybe an hour and then i'm going to try it because what i was thinking i could do in the morning when I'm boiling my hot water to make my muesli, if I boiled some extra hot water and put it in there and then stash this in my bag whilst I'm hiking, I'm hoping that that could actually be a lunch made. It's grown loads. Let's give it a go. It's not really hot. Mmm. I think it needs more like some more salt and pepper. But it's really bad. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> So yeah, that's like another idea. So, H2O. Thank you. I've been kindly given the Waterwell filtration bottle. I also bought myself the water to go version. Both of these bottles can be filled up from outdoor sources. As long as it's fresh water sources, not salt water, they filter out 99.9% .9 of the bugs and nasties and it means that I can just refill them. Snowdonia is full of water sources. It's rained enough in the last few days that I can probably just sink it into the grass and get enough water from it. But I'm gonna take another water bottle as backup anyway. I bought this, which is called, what is it called? Pure Chimp Natural Face Cream. It smells amazing, it's made of natural stuff. I've gotta be honest, I put some on my cheeks, did kind of feel like I was spreading food on my face. No offence to these guys. Yeah, it's made out of safflower oil, sunflower oil. Anyway, a bunch of natural stuff. I'm going to see how that goes. Kind of seems a little bit sticky if I'm honest. So if like after a day my face has turned into a fly trap, then that's probably why. But we'll give it a go. Benefit of the doubt and all that. I use this water stuff. 
for my face day to day and usually when I go camping I put it in this. I'm going to stick to that regime just because it was really difficult to find this stuff in a non-plastic tub. I always buy the biggest tub that I can so there's 350 uses in that tub just so that I'm not using unnecessary plastic but that is one kind of guilty one. I'm going to tell you if there is anything that I'm using that's not fully plastic from source and that is one of them. Deodorant, I've got the nude deodorant in a sugar cane tube so it's plastic free. I was given this by nude. It's completely natural. You put a tiny tiny bit under your armpits and what it does is it neutralizes the bacteria that causes the smell in your sweat so you still sweat but it doesn't clog your pores like normal deodorant. So I'm quite excited. Well actually I've put it on today. Um, I don't seem to smell so I think it's working. For the water stuff I usually use on my face cotton wool which again something that's been really annoying me for a while because you use so much cotton wool and you're throwing it away every day so I've got these reusable cotton wool pads that you just use them and then you put them in the wash so there's 21 in a pack and that cost me I can't remember oh, by the way I bought these I wasn't given them I think it was about a tenner and um, they're called panda pads cute so I'll just use those and then they'll go in the wash when I get home. So toothbrush in, I've got the good old bamboo toothbrush and in my local zero waste store they sell toothpaste tablets which literally come in a jar like this. So I've literally no idea how these toothpaste tablet thingies work, I've not even googled it so I thought I'd just try it out on camera. I'm going to put a tea towel in for protection because obviously I can't see this going that well. Um, I have got some water. I don't know if you meant to mash it with water before you do it, but I'm going to skip that phase and just eat it. Oh my god. Obviously it's quite dry. Maybe if I dip the toothbrush in there. Oh, it's not enough. Get a bit more. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, what? Oh, mm. oh, oh. Mm. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I've just spat that over. Um, I think I overdid it with the water. Maybe the dipping thing was all I needed to do, but oh my god, it's everywhere. <laughs> I've tipped it all over myself. Anyway, I might practice with that again tonight. And finally, I'm gonna finish off on a poo note. A poo. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off on a final note. What am I trying to say? Anyway, I'm gonna finish off with poo. So this is the one thing that wasn't on my photo, but. I'm just gonna approach the poo subject, okay? So normally, when I'm out camping, if I'm out for five days, you gotta go, right? There's no toilets, you gotta go somewhere. So I do the whole, you know, dig a hole or go somewhere where, like away from water sources where no one's, definitely no one's gonna walk, rah, rah, rah. I won't go into detail, but I do use toilet roll and I would never ever drop toilet roll on the floor because that is one of my biggest hates. It literally disgusts me so much. So what I normally do is I take like nappy bags um, and put toilet roll in, tie them up, keep them in my bag and then when I find a bin, they go in a bin. So I had a look around and what I came up with is these. They are for dog poo. <laughs> um, these are earth rated eco friendly bags normally for your dog poo. So I could actually poo in the bag if I, I'm not going to poo in the bag. I shut up there. I'm not going to poo in the bag. I could poo in the bag. I'm not going to poo in the bag. They're 100% leak proof, yay. So I could poo in the bag, I'm not gonna poo in the bag. Um, you get 120 in a box, I think it was like a fiver. That's that subject done. And I think that's everything. Obviously, I'm gonna take my waterproofs, my cooking equipment, my clothes, obviously enough pairs of underwear as if I'm gonna shit myself twice a day because that's what we do when we pack. The sleeping stuff, tent. I think that's it, I think I've covered it. Don't know why am I looking around as if there's something I've forgotten that's like really obvious. It's all going in the bag. Yeah, I think that's it. Wish me luck. Does it work? Can you tell it's my bedroom? Vlogger on a budget. Testing the audio. Testing if I look like a twat. Testing if I've got hair all over my leggings because I'm sat on the floor. Um, is this working? I don't know if I like this angle. 
I don't think I like this angle. I really don't think I like this angle. Let's check the angle. How about that? Can you see me now? I'm so over this. Okay. Sun's in my eyes. That was really childish. Whatever. Uh, cat hair. No. Feathers. Damn jacket feathers. I'd feel more comfortable leaning on this, but does it look like I'm a bit like, don't give a shit? I do give a shit. I don't give a lot of a shit. That's why I'm fanning around so much. Maybe I need a cushion. Should I sit on the cushion? Yeah? It's too hot to do videos. It's not even hot. My housemates could be listening. This is really weird. Like a desk or, 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 apparent, apparently I say or now. Don't know what accent that was. <sighs> Testing again for the 75th time. This better be good. I really can't do any more. Okay, let's try again. I couldn't find a cushion, so there's no cushion. Woosa. Okay, whatever. Completely single use plastic free. Single use plastic free, yeah, that is all the words. It's quite hard to say that. Plastic free, no. The, what I'm gonna talk through in this video is the, what am I trying to say? Go through the stuff that I've had to do differently. That's what I'm trying to say. The stuff that I've had to do different plastic to what I would usually do. So these are the smallest size. I haven't even said what they are. Okay, what they are <laughs> is, I'm not pretty good at this. I've got all that stuff. Right, I didn't explain the first bit. <laughs> uh, go back, go back. So, oh for fuck, I wasn't even recording. I've moved so many times. <sighs> In the bottom of my thermos, thermos? Thermos. Thermos? I don't know how you say that. Anyway, I don't know how you say a lot of things. Shiitake, 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 shit. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> chimp cream. What's it called? Pure chimp cream. It feels like putting bananas on your face. Oh my god, <laughs> that feels disgusting. Made in China, Canadian company. Poo. <laughs> Single use plastic free. That is right, isn't it? Yeah. I've got major camera anxiety right now. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Sarah, just be normal. Just talk as if it's a person. For the all. For all four of the people that are probably watching this, I just need to get a grip. Okay, here we go. Video. Four people. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 